Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to get your iPhone or iPad to respond to DFU mode without using a computer, essentially with another iPhone or iPad. We will be using the Linux app. You must be jailbroken. So as you can see, I am jailbroken with the parent jailbreak on ios 15.7.4 on this iphone 7 first of all open Celio, refresh any sources go to packages and make sure that everything is updated restart Celio. now everything is updated now again go to sources and you will have to add the source ra9 stuff dot github dot io slash repo please note that the method shown in this video is completely free and legit you can also get the Linux app from the hivac repo which is mostly automatically already added so you can have it from here so here you will find it you can get the release version of Linux app from the hivac repo or you can get the nightly version for the Linux app from RA9's public repo. Go to all categories and you can get it from here. Now simply tap on it, get, queued, and you will have to install all these packages. Confirm. Now simply tap done. Go back and you will have to install this package also. This will prevent the accessory alert from appearing get and simply install it then restart springboard once you go in after a respring you will see the Linux app on your home screen as you can see it right here so the Linux app looks like this continue and you will see waiting for a device you'll have to connect your another iPhone or iPad in DFU mode now talking about the hardware that you will need is this lightning to USB-A adapter. So you can note I use this one. I ordered this one online and it worked for me just fine. Rest you will need your USB-A to lightning cable that you use normally. Now guys let's see it in action. Now guys as you can see. I have this iPhone 6 connected to my iPhone 7 via the USB-A to lightning adapter as you can see it right here and here we have the normal lightning cable and you can see that the Linux app is also showing connected Rahan's iPhone as you can see it right here. Now you can also enter recovery or exit recovery via this app so enter recovery you can simply exit from here also exit recovery and my iphone 6 exits recovery and now it will boot normally now guys to enter the pond dfu mode i will simply set my iphone 6 to dfu mode first manually Alright, as you can see, my iPhone 6 is now in DFU mode. And you can see it right here, connected iPhone 6. And now, simply slide up and you will see Pawn device. Just hit it and it will start pawning it. And right here you can see you are right in the Pawn DFU mode without using a computer with another iPhone. You can see it right here now you can boot untrusted images you can see the full log window right here if i scroll up so it's an iphone 6 and successfully pawned as you can see it right here no errors whatsoever now let's spawn this iphone 8 also this is iphone 8 plus now i will get it into gfu first Alright, so my iPhone 8 Plus is now in DFU. You can also see it here. Connected iPhone 8 Plus, the global variant. Alright, now just slide up and pawn device. So let's see. Alright, so it was successful. You will also see 
respond yes all right if i move the log up you can also see it on screen on the computer all right so it worked just fine so both gaster and the ipon ipounder light are available the options to set app nonce or lead down are not currently available at the time of making this video but the developer also plans to add check rain or even pale rain into the line use app so you can jailbreak using this app without a computer or of course use lead down or set app nonce so pretty useful app that's all for this video guys if you have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care